remarkable young man is taking on the challenge to run a 100-mile marathon. Yes, Dave Grassoff was our, was, is with our buddy John and his lovely mom, Vanessa. We love these guys so much. Yeah, both of them. Just amazing, amazing, amazing people. Yeah, not a marathon, not 50 miles. A hundred miles. This Woo! is Vanessa and John. John. Okay, Vanessa, tell us a little bit about John. John is 28 years old, and John is an amazing runner who also has nonverbal autism. And John started running in 2016 with the Special Olympics, and from there had a dream to go to the Boston Marathon. Oh. And from the Boston Marathon, had a dream to take on a 50 mile race. And from that 50 miler, had a dream to take on. Tomorrow's 100. So when he first started, talk about when he first started uh, running, how you knew he enjoyed it so much. We, we would go for walks in the evening when I got off work when he was going through delayed puberty. He hit puberty later than most. And the, the track at the local high school was open, and the janitor said, I see you walking around all the time. Why don't you come? Bring him in. Let him run around the track. And he ran really fast, and he was so excited, and he slept all night that night, and he woke up just so excited. So I started Googling the effects of autism and running and started building a plan for him. So when he ran his first race, this is, this is how knowledgeable I was. He was in basketball shoes and basketball shorts. I mean, I didn't know the difference. And the gear has definitely changed through the years. Yeah. Okay. So talk about now he's been in full mode training for this 100 miler. How's that been going? It's been going great. You know, John, he just loves to run. And I feel like autism is a superpower. Autism just gives yeah. him what he needs. He doesn't see time or distance. He just feels just free energy and just pure joy. Where when we're out there training, we run a marathon every year together, and by mile nine, I'm like, what am I doing? And, and he's looking back at mile 18, like, where are you going? Come on, this is so fun. So he's, he's run a 50K, he's run the 50 miler, he's been training, 5 a.m. trainings, training late at night with the headlamp because he's going to start in the dark and end in the dark. He's been training since February really hard. Yeah, take us through kind of real quick uh, just uh, to the process. He starts off at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning? Yeah, he starts off at, so we're going to wake up at 2 a.m. and we're going to spend from 2 to 3 doing our, our race rituals. We pray and kind of get into the groove. We're going to get up there at 4.30 for a pre-race meeting. He's going to take the starting line at 5 a.m. And they're giving him a 21-hour time frame to finish at 2 a.m. I want to say he's got seven amazing pacers out there with him for this race. So he's going to start with Brian running the race. And then Coach Darren, Ginger, Robert, Sarah, Garrett yeah. Reed won this race last year. And he's one of his pacers. And then his ultimate goal is he wants to run uh, Western Stakes 500. He wants wow. to or run. 100. Yeah, Western the Western States 100. States 100 has been John's dream race for the last five years. And when he ran Boston, this was that was the next race in his sights. And so if he completes this race in 30 hour, under 30 hours, then he can go over to the link and put his name in for the Western States Lottery. Uh, well, we'll be thinking about you, John. We're so proud of you. This whole community yes. really proud of you. Oh. So best of luck to you, okay? Can't wait to hear how it goes. All right. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, everybody. Uh -oh. yeah. Vanessa and John John. Yes. Yes. Love these guys. Yes. Love these guys. Such a great family. <laughs> like their whole know. family is just good people. Oh, I love it. Love how it. inspiring. John's my guy, man. I love that dude. And